Hello children, welcome to Storytime with Miss Izzy. Our book is called The Great Caribbean Chicken Caper. Sixteen Chickens on a Trampoline by Faye Lippitt, who is both author and illustrator. Once upon an island, there were six children who loved the land and the sea. Their names were Moroni, Sidoni, Nalani, Amani, Davani, and Ajoni. Four of them were twins, which sometimes confused people. I'm a Joni and this is my twin brother, Amani. I'm Amani and this is my twin brother, a Joni. I'm Nalani and this is my twin brother, Davoni. I'm Davoni and this is my twin sister, Nalani. One day, their dad found 16 lonely chicks that had lost their mother. So he brought them home. That day happened to be Davoni and Johnny's third birthday and they thought that the chicks were just the best birthday present ever. The chicks lived in a big box in the laundry room where they were warm and safe. The children loved them very much and sometimes took them to the beach for a day in the sun. At home Devani and Johnny would hide those little yellow chicks and the other children would have a roundup. Hide the chick was the family's favorite game. Sometimes not all the chicks would get rounded up. Dad even found one snoozing in his shoe as he raced to the door to go to work. Pretty soon, those chicks got big enough to move to their new home, in the chicken coop, outside. Their favorite food was spaghetti. And Davoni and Johnny liked to bring them that as a treat, because those chicks were, after all, the best birthday present ever. One day, a Johnny came into the house singing a funny little song. Yo ho ho, a yo ho ho, sixteen chickens on a trampoline. <gasps> oh no, Mom shouted as she hurried outside. And there was Devani, bouncing on the trampoline with Sidoni and the chickens. When Devani went down, Sidoni and the chickens went up. When Devani went up, Sidoni and the chickens came down. If Devani didn't stop, there would soon be a lot of bald chickens in the coop. When the last chicken finally bounced off the trampoline, Mulroney and Sidoni, Nalani and Amani, and Davani and Ajani tried to catch them. The chickens were so dizzy, they zigzagged around the yard. It turned out to be the best chicken roundup ever. When the last chicken was in the coop, and the last feather floated to the ground. Davani and Johnny flopped down on the trampoline. Unfortunately, the chickens had left something behind. Chicken poo is not easy to get out of your hair, but is, according to their older brothers and sisters, just the Funniest thing to happen to a person. No doubt the chickens 
agreed. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for listening in to that story. I do hope that you enjoyed it. This book is actually available at Books and Books, which is where Miss Izzy got this book. So please do pop in when you get a chance.